Good morning, Connellsbury High School, and welcome to Falcon News. Today is Wednesday, October 9th. I'm Evelyn Jesko. And I'm Lily Stanish, bringing you today's school news and announcements. This week, it's CEHS, a friendly reminder that clubs will be held this Friday. Be sure to sign up on Flex Time. A Bible Club meeting will be held today after school in room 214. The PSATs are scheduled for today. Be sure to show up right away, and good luck to all the test takers. Tomorrow, our cross-country runners have a meet at Penn State Fayette for our county championships. Best of luck to all runners. And tomorrow, our Falcon hockey team will be away at CFS Bank Arena against Ringgold. Good luck to our Falcons. This Friday, our football team is playing home against University High for the senior night. This is the last home game, so make sure you come and support. Today, our volleyball team is hosting a Dig Pink game plus basket raffles. All proceeds will be donated to women battling breast cancer. Tonight, our volleyball game will be against Norwin at 7.15. There will be a basket raffle, 50-50, in a concession stand. Theme is Dig Pink, so be sure to wear your best pink shirt. Theme is for breast cancer awareness. Here is some more information about the Dig Pink basket raffle tickets. One ticket will cost $2, three will cost five, and ten will cost ten. All proceeds from tonight's game will be donated to local women battling breast cancer. Please come out and support. Now for our countdown. There are 22 days until Halloween. Fun fact, people used to carve turnips, not pumpkins. And for our Halloween quote of the day, being normal is vastly overrated by Aggie Cromwell from Halloween Town. There will be a PJAS meeting in room 300 after school tomorrow at 225. Anyone who may be interested in participating should come to the meeting or stop by room 300 by the end of the day on Friday. Our high school history club is holding a fundraiser at the Connorsville McDonald's today. 20% of all mobile orders will go towards our spring trip. You must download an order through the app to support the high school's history class. 10th and 11th graders up at the CTC Carpenter class are now selling pumpkins that they have made. These are hand-drawn, hand-cut, and hand-painted. Sizes, shapes, and stem colors are not guaranteed. It is $10 for one pumpkin and $25 for three. Cash or checks are only accepted. If you are paying with cash, please have the exact amount you need. If you are paying with a check, you can issue it out to CACTC Carpentry. If you would like to purchase any, you can go to the office at the CTC Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. There's a limited supply, so get them while you can. All new and past musical cast members are invited to a meeting on Tuesday, October 15th during Falcon Time in the Chorus Room 312. Sign up on Flex Time Manager to attend the meeting. The Spanish department attended the Spanish World Language Competition at Slippery Rock University yesterday. The students who attended are Everly Briner, James Fletcher, Allie Johnson, Chase Sankovich, Mia McKnight, and Abby Humbert. We hope everyone had a great time. We'll have a report later this week on the day's events from Slippery Rock. History Club will be hosting their annual Pick a Troll. The cost is $1, and here are the prizes listed for what color troll you get. If you get a pink, purple, or yellow troll, you will get a piece of candy. A green, blue, or orange troll, you'll get falcon gear. And if you're lucky and get the George Washington troll, you'll receive $50. This will be during all three lunches on October 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. We hope to see a good turnout. The students in the CACTC Protective Services Program are organizing a relief supply collection for North Carolina and other areas affected by Hurricane Helene. Donations are needed and greatly appreciated. Here you can see some of the Protective Service students organizing and sorting the donations that they have gotten so far. You can see any Protective Service student or drop-off donations at the CTC from 7.45 a.m. to 1.45 p.m. Products that are needed are food items, shelter supplies, baby supplies, pet supplies, household items, and personal care items. The list on the screen now shows all the items that are needed. All items need to be turned in by tomorrow. Last Friday, the Bible Club created outreach cards during Falcon Time. Here you can see some of the students working on their cards. Now let's turn over to Allison Painter for a look at today's weather forecast. I know I'm not Allison again, but welcome to Global Falcon Weather News. I'm your meteorologist, Aaron Michaels, and today we're tracking an extreme system across the Gulf of Mexico, Major Hurricane Milton. It currently has winds of 145 miles per hour and a pressure of 929 millibars. The storm is currently moving towards the Florida coast where it is expected to make a direct landfall on the city of Tampa as a Category 4 with those same sustained winds. The storm is expected to strengthen back to a Category 5 as it was earlier last night when it peaked at 180 mile per hour winds and a pressure of 897 millibars, taking second place as some of the strongest storms in Atlantic history, only falling short of Wilma of 2005. 
this storm could cause extreme damage to the coast of Florida. And not to mention, it's only been a week and a half since Hurricane Helene made, last made landfall on the Florida Panhandle. This storm is definitely going to take the leftover debris from Helene and use it to its, to its advantages. To throw this debris around at about 100 miles per hour to just cause even further devastation to buildings across southern Florida. Now let's switch over to the model and really see how this storm is going to track as it moves towards the coast of Florida. Now we switched over to the model. Let's take a look as the storm moves towards the coast of Florida. As I said, this storm is going to make landfall on the city of Tampa, and it is going to cause between 12 to 18 feet of storm surge on the coast of Florida, as well as bring heavy flash flooding rain across the central state of Florida. This storm, I could foresee it be causing between 20 to $100 billion in damage across the state of Florida. So I am urging you now, people who are currently still in Florida, or just anyone who has people that live in Florida or know anyone from Florida, I urge you to get these people out of Florida right now. This is not a storm you want to sit through. This is a historic storm that is going to cause tremendous damage across the state of Florida. That is all for Global Falcon Weather News, and I will see you on another weather report. Good morning, Collinsville. I'm Allison Payton, your weather reporter, and today we're going to have a high of 62 and a low of 44. A UV of 5 and sunshine throughout the day, so not a bad day. And as far as our sunset goes, we have a sunset at 6.47 p.m. And as far as our moon phase goes, we have a waxing crescent moon phase. That's all I have. Now back to the desk. Thanks for the weather report. The Cinderella Dance will be held on Tuesday, November 26th from 6 to 9 p.m. Doors open at 5 and the theme is Starry Night. Tickets will be $35 per person and $70 per couple. The ticket will include your entrance fee into the dance, a catered dinner, and access to a popcorn bar. The dance is open to all sophomores, juniors, and seniors. More information on tickets will be out soon. Prom Committee is hosting a fundraiser for future dances called Chuck a Duck. The committee will be selling ducks during Falcon time for you to earn a chance to win a $25 gift card of your choice after hitting a bullseye. Let's see what's for lunch today. Here's Brian Mitchell with today's lunch menu. Good morning, Connorsville. I'm Brian Mitchell, your lunch reporter. And today for lunch, we're having oven roasted chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy, green beans, homemade roll, and a jello cup. And for the alternative menu, we're having chicken filet, spicy chicken filet, and pizza. That's all I have for today. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Brian. We have an update on the trip to Lancaster that the Bible Club is hosting in April. The first bus to see Noah is completely full. A second bus has been reserved. A friendly reminder that there are only 10 spots left for the trip. Reserve your spot now. The total cost is $120. Make a $70 non-refundable deposit to reserve your seat. Get your money and turn in your permission slips ASAP to reserve your spot. See Mrs. Riccio in 214 with any questions. The Bible Club meets today in Ms. Riccio's room 214 right after school until 3.30. All are welcome to attend. According to NationalCalendarDay.com, today is National Stop Bullying Day. Now let's head over to our sports broadcaster, Logan Mullins, for a midweek sports update. I'm Logan Mullins reporting from the Falcon Nest here to bring you your midweek sports update. On Monday, the girls' soccer team lost 7-1 against Upper St. Clair. Yesterday, the boys' soccer team played home against Cannon Mack, and the girls' volleyball team played home against Norwin. Today, both our girls' soccer team and our girls' volleyball team play home against Cannon Mack with JV at 6, Varsity at 7-15. Tomorrow, the cross-country team has an open championship at 4 at Penn State Fayette. The boys soccer team plays away against Mount Lebanon with JV at 6, Varsity at 7.30. And the girls volleyball team plays away against Hemfield with JV at 6 and Varsity at 7.15. And this Friday, our Falcon football team plays home against University High School with kickoff at 7. Make sure you guys come out and support everyone for senior night. That's all I have for today. Now back to the desk. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube at CESD Falcon Productions for news, special videos, and live events. Subscribe now and stay updated. Thanks again for watching today. Tune in again tomorrow and, and have, have a great day, Connellsville. Connellsville.